Welcome to the He's Got Issues Marvel Comics Edition number 149.1. I'm John Cooney here to preview new Marvel Comics being released November 26, 2014, beginning alphabetically with all new Ghost Rider number 9. Legend, co-starring Johnny Blaze. The fight for Robbie Reyes' soul heats up. Will Johnny Blaze save or destroy him? What is the spirit of Eli Morrow really after? Next, we have All New Invaders number 12. In 1917, what brought together Union Jack, Iron Fist, and Freedom's Five? Would you believe invading Martians? Plus, the Winter Soldier sends the modern-day invaders to England to help Spitfire. But why? We've also got Amazing X-Men number 13. Anoli's deepest fears are unleashed on the streets of New York City. Can Nightcrawler and Northstar break through to him before they rip him apart? Next, we have Captain America and the Mighty Avengers number 2, Axis tie-in. Once Luke Cage was a man of the people, a champion of the community, a hero for everyone who needed help. But there's a new Luke Cage in town, and the only one he's helping is himself. Plus, Captain America declares war on the Mighty Avengers. We've also got Cyclops number 7, the bad news, the Star Jammers are about to die. The good news, Cyclops is no longer a Star Jammer. Scott Summers is aboard a new space pirate ship with a cruel cutthroat captain and a crew of criminals and killers. None of them trust Scott, and a few might just want to kill him. But hey, that captain's daughter is kind of cute, right? Next, we have Death of Wolverine, The Logan Legacy, number 5 of 7, featuring Deken. The man known as Wolverine is dead, but what about the sum total of his mortal remains? Relics? Trophies? Or is there something more remaining of Logan? Something which endures? Something in his son, Deken? Deken hated his father while he lived, but now the duties he takes on in Logan's name will surprise everyone who knows them both. We've also got Deathlock number two, Flight Path. In a mission that twice crosses the globe, Deathlock must stop an airplane mid-flight. While Henry Hayes tries to balance his life at home with the mission he doesn't even know about, other parties, good and bad, are taking an interest in him. Deathlock is activated only to find himself racing against the clock in the Philippines. Next, we have Marvel Universe Ultimate Spider-Man Web Warriors number one, the star of an all-new era of adventure as Spider-Man teams up with the Marvel Universe's greatest heroes. Spidey joins Captain America in a raid on the fortress of Doctor Doom to retrieve Cap's lost shield, based on the smash hit Disney XD animated series. We've also got New Avengers number 27. In six months, time runs out. Next, we have New Warriors number 12, series finale. It's been a hard road for the New Warriors, and after fighting the evolutionaries and saving the planet once or twice, things reach their shocking conclusion. After months of battling, the New Warriors finally find some measure of peace, but will it last? We've also got Nova number 24, Axis tie-in. Nova faces, is that the Hulk? Find out why they're fighting and just how Sam thinks he has a chance. Next, we've got Scarlet Spiders number one of three, the first issue in an explosive limited series tying into the biggest spider event ever, Spider-Verse. In the midst of Spider-Verse, Kane, Ben Riley, and Ultimate Jessica Drew must come together for a mission of vital importance. There's more to their mission than meets the eye. What dangers await the Scarlet Spiders across the multiverse? We've also got Secret Avengers number 10, The Great Culling is here. Trace the clues back to Secret Avengers number 1, The Sentence Above Means Something. The true mastermind of the decay at the center of the Secret Avengers initiative is revealed, but then again, is there just one? Hawkeye and Coulson face off. Next we have Spider-Man 2099 number 6, Spider-Verse tie-in. Picking up where Amazing Spider-Man 10 ends, Miguel O'Hara is finally back in the year 2099. But no time for nostalgia. Spider-Man 2099, Lady Spider, and the six-armed Spider-Man are on the run for their lives from the dangerously ravenous inheritors. We've also got Superior Foes of Spider-Man number 17. This is it, the end, the finale, the big wrap up a -roo. Next, we've got Superior Iron Man number two, the Superiority Complex. Tony Stark has transformed San Francisco into the prototype of his new world concept, but Matt Murdock isn't down with Tony's new vision. Can Daredevil lead the rebellion against the Superior Iron Man? And we've got Wolverine and the X-Men number 12. In the wake of the death of Wolverine and the undertow of Access, Quentin Choir returns to the Jean Grey school. But who is this mild-mannered, thoughtful young man in the pink sweater? And what does he really want? And why is Storm so angry? The course of the future of the Jean Grey school is altered forever, starting here. Out in trades this week, we've got All New Invaders Volume 2 Original Sin trade paperback, Original Sin tie-in, 
Jim Hammond, the original Human Torch, must reveal the invader's tragic original sin, and it traces all the way back to Hiroshima. Did the team make a fatal miscalculation by disobeying orders from on high, and will Japanese superheroine Radiance make them pay the ultimate price? Then, when the Torch's former sidekick, Toro, is kidnapped, the invaders discover a devastating new threat. Toro's kidnapper now controls every single Deathlock in the Marvel Universe, and this enemy's control over artificial intelligence just might extend to the Torch. Can Namor, the Winter Soldier, and the Torch save humanity from death by Deathlock? Is one of the Band of Brothers a traitor? And what do Kill Raven and the Martian Invasion have to do with everything? This one has it all. Collecting all new invaders, number 6 through 10. Next, we have Amazing Spider-Man Volume 1.1, Learning to Crawl Trade Paperback. It's the chapter you never knew about the story you know by heart. Join Peter Parker as he takes his first steps towards finding his way in the world as Spider-Man. He sought revenge and found responsibility. From that night on, a new life began. Peter's not a hero, not yet, but he'll get there somehow. But what happens when Peter meets Clash, New York's newest menace? Clash is Spidey's biggest fan, but what started off as fun and games soon turns deadly serious, and Clash is about to become his first supervillain. And as a classic Spidey villain joins in on the fun, J. Jonah Jameson's crusade against Spider-Man kicks into overdrive, and Uncle Ben's secret comes to light. Dan Slott and Ramon Perez deliver a new spin on Spider-Man's first 60 days. Collects Amazing Spider-Man number 1.1 through 1.5 in material from number 1. We've also got Captain America Epic Collection Volume 1 Captain America Lives Again trade paperback. Transformed by the Super Soldier Serum from a 98-pound weakling into Captain America, Steve Rogers led the charge to liberate the world from the Axis powers. But before World War II's end, an accident left him frozen in suspended animation and his sidekick Bucky dead. The world turned on for decades, and when the Avengers finally resurrected him, Steve Rogers was greeted by a world vastly changed. He was a man out of time, tormented by the death of his partner, but no less committed to the cause of fighting evil in all its forms. In this epic collection, Stan Lee and Jack Kirby bring you the rebirth of American icon, the rebirth of Captain America. Collecting Avengers number 4 and material from Strange Tales number 114 and Tales of Suspense number 58 through 96. Next, we have Deadpool Volume 6, Original Sin Trade Paperback, Original Sin Tie-In. Agent Preston follows a trail of secrets from Deadpool's past that leads her to a surprising situation requiring immediate attention. Deadpool has a daughter, and there's much more to her than meets the eye. But Deadpool is up to his neck fighting off Dracula's forces, and he's recruited a time-displaced Dazzler to help him do it. Even with her help, can Deadpool escape the gnawing fangs of the undead in time to safeguard his own flesh and blood? And where did his daughter even come from? Flashback to the grim and gritty 90s as we learn the very darkest secret of Deadpool's dark past. Guest starring 90s Sabretooth and 90s Alpha Flight, collecting Deadpool number 29 through 34. We've also got Inhuman Volume 1 Genesis trade paperback. Marvel's newest heroes are born. Terrigen myths are moving across the world, transforming regular people into inhumans with amazing powers. But not everyone thinks this is a good thing. As the mysterious Lash takes an unwanted interest in the new Inhumans, Queen Medusa finds herself face to face with Captain America, and it doesn't go well. As the history of an ancient branch of Inhumans is uncovered, a newly transformed Inhuman named Flint sees his world fall apart. When deposed Inhuman King the Unspoken returns, determined to regain his throne, he quickly takes the royal family captive and conquers Medusa's new island nation, and now Flint and his fellow new humans must step up to embrace their destiny. Discover the Marvel universe's secret history and get in on the ground floor of the next big marvel franchise collecting inhuman number one through six next we have marvel masterworks golden age all winners volume two trade paperback you've been conscripted into the golden age and all its glory with all winners comics captain america stops a plot against general douglas macarthur the human torch foils a plan to freeze the english channel the destroyer fights the forces of the devil himself plus the submariner the wizard and more with such wartime villains as the Stone Man Slayer, Dr. Togu the Vampire, the Mock Mikado, and Dr. Crime, and little-known characters like the Black Avenger, Raffles the Cracksmith, and Slow Motion Jones, there's no way you can lose with this spectacular collection of Golden Age tales. Collecting all winners comics number 5 through 8. 
We've also got Oz Road to Oz trade paperback. When your name is Dorothy Gale, all roads lead to Oz. So when Dorothy helps a stranger with directions, she suddenly finds herself on yet another magical and enchanted journey. This time, the shaggy man and his handy-dandy love magnet will accompany Dorothy. Button Bright, the wisest little boy who don't know anything, will come along too. They're all on the road to Oz, but can they get there in time for Princess Ozma's birthday gala? And will this finally be the time Dorothy doesn't make it back to Kansas? Find out in Marvel Comics' fifth amazing series adapting the L. Frank Baum classics, collecting Road to Oz number one through six. Next, we have Painkiller Jane, the 22 Brides trade paperback. Painkiller Jane is back, and now romance and chaos is in the air as Jane is joined by a group of mercenary assassins called the 22 Brides. It's non-stop action as Jane and the Brides take on a group of underground terrorists causing chaos in New York City, but when they get wind of the terrorists' next target, their war becomes a desperate race against time, and Painkiller Jane and her newfound allies must beat the clock to stop the mysterious plot before hundreds are killed. Thrilled to edge-of-your-seat storytelling as only Jimmy Palmiotti and Justin Santa Cruz can deliver it, plus a special story by Steve Banyan featuring Painkiller Jane on the hunt for a killer. We've also got Savage Wolverine Volume 4, the best there is hardcover premiere edition, untold tales from Wolverine's century-long life. In 1963, Wolverine must defend a group of innocent workers from evil. Meanwhile, in Dallas, an event will change the world. Then meet the sole survivor of the 1929 Valentine's Day Massacre, Wolverine. It's gangsters, bullets, babes, villains, heroes, and murder in a showdown in Capone'stown. Next, in the midst of World War I, Logan leads a daring mission, finds himself at the business end of 20 German soldiers' guns, and discovers that he isn't the only mutant at war. Plus, Wolverine takes on the Wild West. Finally, in the present, Wolverine collides headfirst with some bad luck on the worst possible day. He's the best there is at what he does, but what if he has a bad day? Hopefully, Jubilee can lend a hand. Collecting Savage Wolverine number 18 through 23. And we've got Wolverine by Jason Aaron, the Complete Collection Volume 4 trade paperback. He's the best there is at what he does, and Wolverine's not so bad either. Writer Jason Aaron's acclaimed and character-defining Wolverine run concludes in this final volume. Joined by comics' top artist, Aaron puts Wolverine through a physical and emotional ringer as the feral hero wreaks vengeance on the red right hand, the group that send him to hell, but the final twist in their horrific plan might shatter Wolverine's spirit completely. Then Wolverine faces decades-old responsibility when he defends Chinatown from drugs and dragons. And when Sabretooth and Mystique team up to wreak havoc in Japan, Wolverine must take on both the Yakuza and the Hand and defend his loved ones from a legacy of pain. Guest starring Gorilla Man, Fat Cobra, and a literal who's who of Wolverine's friends and foes. Collects Wolverine number 10 through 20 and 300 through 304. All right, so that's it for Marvel this week, but there's still plenty of other books out as well, so be sure to check out my YouTube channel at he'sgotissues.com to see both the DC and Indies videos for this week, as well as my featured video with the usual roundup of all my favorites for the week with a little more depth and insight than you get here. And if you like these videos, be sure to let me know by leaving a comment and subscribing. You can also follow He's Got Issues on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Tumblr to see everything I'm reading as I read it. So until next week, I'm John Cooney, and I've got issues.